Hello, everyone. Pally Tim here. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We join Michael Magus behind the Great Hall. Now, I've seen the Great Hall a ton. I've seen the courtyard outside of it a ton. But I've been exploring Hogwarts as if I am indeed a student here on their first day of class. I've been trying not to use my map and just roam around the hallways. And let me tell you, I am just lost every step of the way. But sometimes being lost leads you to some of your favorite places. And this view is absolutely incredible here. One thing I really like about this too is on the map, this area doesn't look like anything special. It's just some rocks outside of the towers. I would totally Lumos. hang out here in between classes. I would totally be out here watching the sunset Although I guess the sun would kind of set over there. I came out here earlier when it wasn't raining and I actually saw some students out here flying kites and stuff. That's what lured me to this spot in the first place. Very, very cool area. Today we're gonna to be attending our first potions class. We've never met the teacher. We don't know anything about the class, but I'm gonna to try to roam over there on my own without the use of the map. We'll see what kind of trouble we can get into. Maybe this is just the kind of confidence I have as the new dueling champion of the school. I mean, who can best me in anything now? <laughs> the handrails have invisible walls to keep you from jumping off the path. But we gain flying later, so how does that make any sense? Oh, that sun just peeking around these buildings? Lumos. I can't be the only one who thinks this game is just stunning around every corner, oh, right? Nice to see you, my it might be friend. some of the ray tracing effects, though. Those are really nice. I oh, yeah, this is it. See, look how rewarding that was. Just kind of sniff out on our own without breadcrumbs. I mean, maybe that's just rewarding for me, to be fair. Let's head inside and meet our teacher for the first time. It looks like they're not going to make me wait on the floor. How nice of them. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. I told you that! Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Oh, Michael Mag is going in with some confidence. Even motion when crushing your ingredients. Oh, okay, I'm sure this won't be weird. Strong, even motion. Okay. Ro I got a lot of wrist strength. Be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Okay, I do have a lot of allergies, so I'm just going to tap space bar real quick here. Just real quick tap. That's a pinch right there. I do like how this is a little interactive. I wasn't sure how they were going to do this. When I saw Michael just standing there with a mortar and pestle, I thought, oh, I'm just going to watch him do it. What is a hork lump juice? Hey, we know how to make this potion. Like, none of this stuff goes in it, right? Maybe it does. <laughs> I don't know if I've actually made one, so I'm just going to keep adding. Although, is this a trick? Should I have not have added more? Should I have read a book before I did this, Professor? You just said how dangerous this is, and I'm over here just stirring green goop. Uh-oh, did something smell bad? He seemed like he was stirred from his slumber. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. I'm not sure I ever learned, sir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. 
Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Of course. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. I don't feel like he really gave me any instruction on how to do this at all. Right after he said it was super My dangerous. Keeping me he didn't even go over basic stirring. I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. Uh, yes. Oh, you're a Weasley. Will you be my friend? Uh, yeah. Do you want to come? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant. You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. What does that I'm mean? Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? Yes. She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Well, that seems like it's stealing. But, yeah, I'm just gonna say, I'm not sure that's a good idea. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Oh man, am I getting, uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll get you the feather, but you gotta keep it on the down low, though. Very well. I'll bring you a Fupa feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Okay, how are you feeling? This guy is out now, good. Lumos. All right, well, uh, let's go into the office. It looks like it's just a little the cupboard. Potion should not be that color. Potion should not be that color. I also noticed that when I was brewing my potion and when I put it into the bottle, they were very, very different colors. Uh, he didn't tell me what I was after here. There's some Ashwinder eggs. Nice. Oh, they have all the lights uh, when they were doing the Patronus charm. Interesting. Uh, mongrel fur. That's on the desk, of course. We know where plenty of mongrels are out in the woods. I've fought my fair share of wolves, if I do say so myself. And that feather is definitely vibrant. You know, I think he might notice that it's missing. <clears throat> Keep it in your pocket and we're fine. Wizard always has a few potions on hand. Where's the professor at right now? Can, can I can I cast the disillusionment charm? I don't see him anywhere. Gareth, I got the thing for you. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. He sounds so excited about it. It's making me excited about it. Okay, so we just have to brew our thing over here. Potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have There's the professor. And be thorough. Have patience and be thorough. Yes, sir. So this looks pretty simple. We just have a potion station with some recipes for what we need to make, like the hork lump juice that I should not have questioned at all, and the dittany leaves. I remembered those, not the juice. However, for the Aduris potion, these Ashwander eggs may be difficult to find outside, but these mongrel flurs are no big deal. We also have a Maxima potion, Invisibility potion, which would assumingly be better than our Disillusionment charm, Focus potion, and a Thunder Brew. Well, I made it. It's going to take 28 seconds to be done. Yeah, I am kind of surprised to see systems and like now this. We add the Mallow Sweet, Ooh. and that's odd. What's happening? Oh, no. Don't you dare blame it on me. Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it. Not again. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh. Dragon dung. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. I thought it was pretty cool. I've never seen fireworks come out of water before. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. <gasps> Again. Points from Gryffindor. 
All right, Hufflepuff moves closer to the victory. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Well, mm, put that light away. I was going to say before I was interrupted, I am very surprised to see that stuff like this takes time. Granted, 14 seconds isn't that big of a deal, uh, but this is like a mobile game tactic to keep you opening up the game throughout the day, you know what I mean? It's kind of odd that you have to sit here and wait for it to be done. I mean, crafting in like World of Warcraft has crafting times too. It's just you're actively crafting, not just looking at the table <laughs> waiting for it to be done. <clears throat> Uh, Professor Sharp, let's do a quick check. Do I have any pink feathers on me anywhere? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, hello, sir. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Just eat it. Just take it now. It's, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. Here we go. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. Yes! I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. <laughs> yes, dude! As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. <laughs> That'll be all. Well, I feel like that we went must. great. Each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Can I talk to Weasley again? Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though. I'd better clean up. You should finish brewing your potion if you haven't already. <laughs> Weasley seems nice. He seems really nice. Oh, my robes are going to reek from. Uh, he said you can't brew a potion just anywhere. I found one earlier. Let me go show it a to you guys. in our common room wants to talk to you. Oh. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the minister for magic, I think. I didn't know Cedric Diggory had important relatives. We went in this, I believe, in episode one or two. It's a bathroom just down the stairs from our charms class. We passed this on the way up. We even saw a chest on the map. So, you know, I got that chest there. When I was playing as our alter ego, Michael Magus, when my recording broke and I played through the video game again, I stumbled into this last stall here. Which houses a polyjuice potion that someone is trying to brew. Uh, I hope they don't get any cat hair in it. I don't think that turns out very pretty. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Oh. Do you have a moment? Oh, I, just, oh. I left. I left potions before you, and you cut me off. Go into this next thing. I'm intrigued. You wouldn't happen to have a Marauder's map, would you? Um, that was an interesting class, or... Were you calling me? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, Wisby-inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. What is the ingredient? I can't wait to see what you brew up, or shouldn't you be studying? We're in between classes right now. Do you think I'm a Ravenclaw? You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own brews. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Yes? That sounds awesome. A secret passage is right up my street. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant. Thank you. 
But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. True. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Descendium. You got it, my dude. Isn't this stealing? Oh. Shit. I think it is. I'll give it a try. <laughs> I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, on this giant staircase here, it might be a little hard to find. The purple area on the minimap seems pretty big, and it looks like it can go down these. This looks like the right oh. statue. Yeah, How that's a one-eyed witch password? right there. The password was Descendium. Descendium. I like how Lumos is still on. <laughs> Goodness, who knew this was all down here? Oh boy. Lumos. Well, do we think anything else might be down here? This place is illuminating as we go. So let me get the disillusionment charm back on my hotbar and we'll make sure we are actually sneaking. I mean, I know the lights are lighting themselves, but- A lift must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Well, if only there was a spell for this exact occasion, Michael. I like that he whispered it because he was sneaking. Good job, Michael. Repaired. That seems to have done the trick. Are you trusting your magic here? What if this all just plummets down to the ground? Oh, we're moving. It just looks like nothing in front of me. You know, if I was in this situation, IRL, I would have asked a lot more questions about this secret tunnel before I did it. And that stealing thing- This castle will never cease to surprise me. That stealing thing would have definitely come up. Chat has pointed out that in video games, I'm very chaotic. Lumos. It's very hard to keep up with what I'm gonna do next. Oh, Horklum Juice, this is perfect for our potions. Uh, I'm trying to illuminate just a little bit, not too much. What was open and really easy to navigate before is getting very claustrophobic. It looks like they've had qua That's so many spiders. Look at all of those spiders. Okay. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't she say that this could be used to clear out spider webs? Incendium. <laughs> not those, not those spider webs. Wait a minute, these spider webs? Oh, you see, I pay attention in class. I am a good, so. I'm a good student. I'm not a good inventory keeper. Oh, looks like we're coming up on a trap door now. That was just on the other side of an even bigger spider web. So they give you two chances to get over there. How am I supposed to get out of here? I'm trapped. What do you mean? Lumos. Oh. That did. Did that just cave in? Is that what that noise was? No. We... <laughs> Michael, calm down. We can just walk right back to the same way we came from, I did. All right. I think I'm just getting a little jittery because the heist is starting to set in. How do I move this? Probably a Leviosa. Leviosa. That did it. Oh, wait a minute. <gasps> wait, it pulls me up? That's kind of cool. Oh, I thought I could do it again to get even higher. I can actually just climb my own self right up there. Bro, this is getting sketchy here. It's also Lumos. so foggy that my Lumos isn't really working. It's just kind of obs get past this. It's just kind of obscuring what I'm trying to look at already. Well, that looks like another Levioso. Levioso opportunity there, but it also looks like there's another path down on the left. Revelio. This does lead to a chest. I have not been casting Revelio enough. 
And what is happening in the water here? Revelio. I'm not liking all those movements. I actually think it was just frogs, though, so that's probably fine. Now, can I pull this to me? No, we're going to have to jump for it. Up and over. It was a very relaxed jump for the situation. I got to be honest, Michael. Levioso again, but this one's actually broken. That means we're going to need two. And then lift it up. Oh, and it stays secured once it's there as well. That's a nice touch. Well, we're going to need our fire spell to get through this, so... There we go. Ah, it kind of chain reactions to all of the layers of the spider web. That's actually so cool. Is there anything off to the right here? No, that's just a pit. So we have to go to the left. <laughs> oh man, they're really making me swap out so many things. Reparo to fix that again. Bring it up. Something but... is getting in the way of that platform. Uh, yes, it is this thing. Uh, perhaps I need to pull that towards me. Akio. There it is. Let now we bring it up. How do I jump there, though? Aha. Got it. There was a break in the fence here. So what did I break all those spider webs for? Was this just tied up in it? You know, there is quite a lot of life in this little abandoned tunnel. I guess just because the students don't know about it doesn't mean that all these little creepy crawlies around Hogwarts don't. This is pretty well lit up, though. This must be the way out. Confident in that, are you? To open that gate. I haven't. I didn't even know this was a puzzle yet, Michael. Incendio. That was the easiest thing I've ever done. Revelio. No wonder they brought me into Hogwarts. I'm the most natural wizard the world has ever known. Sweet. Must be close to Honeydukes. Yeah, I think we are too. So, before we go up there, let me get the disillusion charm ready to go. We're gonna just kneel down, take the ladder up. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? I told you to hide. What are you doing? Okay. So the one-eyed witch passage is just below those boxes. Um, Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Purple. Dragon no. eyed Where spectacle. would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Well, probably just in their inventory like this. This is just their extra room here, right? We could Revelio. do a Revelio. It might let us in on some of the inner workings of this place. You know, oh, there it is right there. I'm glad I did that. I don't think I would have noticed that otherwise. What does that look like by default? I have the dried billywig stings. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Oh, but what if I go out this way? Still concealed in the back of Honey Dukes. Hello, hello, nothing to see here. I just slowly make my way back out to the street. Oh, there's the owner this way. Although he's so into his work. I doubt he's even keeping track of who came in and out of the store. Yes, kid. No, why can't I? Oh, that kid just did me such a solid open the door for me. No one's going to suspect <clears throat> a thing. <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion that if we keep hanging out with the Weasley, we're going to learn how to pick some locks. It kind of seems that way to me anyway. So anytime we get a chance to do a mission with him, I'm going to try to do it. But first, I'm going to stop in at three broomsticks. I want to see if I can buy a butterbeer. That sounds so nice. Whoa, that guy just appeared out of nowhere. And once again, no one behind the bar. How do they make any money in here? By the way, the wood fixtures and the railings and the chairs and the seats. Well, actually, not the seats. The seats are a little different. But a lot of the details that you see in this room are very similar to what's in the three broomsticks in Orlando. Oh, I miss my family. Is that why I'm playing this game? Woo! 
Ah, right. Finally got rid of all of that gear. We're about to have another stunning view of Hogwarts at night. And more importantly, we uncovered that secret passage and got the ingredients that our new partner in crime needs. <laughs> oh, man. I just wanted to see it one more time. Oh, there's the school crest, dude. Right at the main entrance as you walk in. It looks so good with the lighting in here as well. You can't hide from me, Paper. Well, I'm pretty sure our partner in crime is right where we left him. He decided to stay up late just to make sure we got back in one Hello, piece. Again. Were you able to get to Honey Dukes? I sure was, but Descendio worked like a charm. You got them. Incredible. Yes. Well, they're all yours. <laughs> For a fee. No, dude. No, dude. Here they are, man. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Well, I hope it turns out good, my dude. Lumos. If you know any more cool ways to get around the castle, I'd be open to hearing that too. Well, sounds like we need to go back to our dorm because there's a painting that wants to speak with us. Only in Hogwarts, huh? I'll see you guys again very soon and we'll tackle that quest together. Thank you for being here. Take care.